But I shouldn't be told on Tuesday morning what's in legislation that's going to be rammed through the doll without a proper debate. And, it's, and there's no other word for it other than ramming it through. I mean, we elect representatives in a deliberative democracy so that we can discuss legislation and move forward. And it's a lot easier to achieve a consensus if you actually have an opportunity to discuss issues, make amendments. And if the government were in the position to even look at some of the bona fides of the amendments proposed. But I can guarantee you now that the Minister for Health will nod and smile and do his usual PR stunt but he won't accept any amendments. He won't even think about accepting amendments. So this will be rammed through regardless of what's in it. Um, we're all working off media leaks. That's not a way to legislate. It's not a way to run a country, especially on something that has the potential to be so divisive into the future. We opened up indoor dining um, and hospitality generally to a lesser extent throughout last summer when there was no vaccinations. Uh, and if that advice was valid last year, I just don't understand why there has been such... Uh, an attempt to shut down indoor hospitality this year. I mean, it's been welcomed by groups only because they're desperate to open up, and that's entirely understandable. I would be concerned that this is not going to go away in three months. I mean, I, I, I remember we had, was it two weeks to flatten the curve last March, 12 months? And we had pieces of legislation with sunset clauses that have been rolled over and rolled over and rolled over again. The precedent isn't great for letting legislation like this lapse. My concern is that instead of it ending and lapsing and that there won't be this permanent divide in society that it will be expanded I mean are we going to see um, students allowed back onto campuses if they can prove vaccination and excluded from campuses if mm. they can't uh, in September I fear that that will happen I don't know but I fear that will happen I mean if you were to say that 12 months ago that that was a possibility you'd be labelled a conspiracy theorist but if you were to say one month ago that people were going to have to prove their vaccination status or other health statuses to, to um, bouncers at the door of a restaurant or a bar or that publicans were going to be forced to look for this in order to be able to open up. If you said that a month ago, people would say you were crazy uh, and now we're doing it. So I just fear that we're on this kind of slippery slope. Um, I don't know where it'll end. I certainly won't be voting for it.